Lake Seven, 1978, trial. Civilian Southern Man's Headquarters, Federation Space Station, curving corridor outside the healing room. Lie, waste of time, pa. Shut up, lie. Lie, ceremonial to duty, pa. If you don't shut up, we won't be guarding court martial. We'll be having one. Lie, I joined to see some action, pa. More for you. Lie, you've been on campaigns, pa. Pa, I have. I have. Lie, done a lot of killing, pa. Enough more. Pacrell and Retina, he make their way around the cor- corridor. Pacrell, it should embarrass her at the very least. Pa, watch it, pa. A lie snapped attention. Retina. Oh, I hope so, but ah, uh, she doesn't embarrass easily, especially not in her own headquarters. But cool. Oh, I meant politically, of course, for a teen. Of course, any attempt to embarrass her personally is exercise in total fertility. But cool, oh, quite. She has all the sense of delicacy of pleasant boat. They laugh. Routine. Then when Axis is not forthcoming, well, pa, sir, security area, sir. Axis is voice print links, sir. Routine. I am Secretary Routine, personal representative for President. The door opens. Routine presses fr- through. Bakul starts to follow, but Parliament by in a blocky way with their weapons. Bakul, Bakul, Senator Bakul, Head of Information, Bureau, ex officer, officer, member of the High Council. The door opens and he passes through. Lie. Last thought he's going to run for it. Pa, pity he didn't. You could have shot him. Lie, top politico? Pa, don't worry about them. Space Command runs the Federation. Lie, reckon so? Pa, no, so. We took, we look after ourselves. Lie. Tell that to the prisoner. Pa, broke the rules, didn't he? Lie, well, whose rules? Pa, only ones that matter in uh, ours. Sodomar comes in sight around the corridor, blazing all. Look at this. They come to attention. Sodomar. So our fleet warden general appointed pro tem military arbitrator. Door opens, he passes through. Lie, the old star killer. Oh, I never thought I'd see him in flesh. Hadn't left his staff, his flagship in years. Lie, arbitrator is a cruddy court martial. Palm. By, by, be by the book. I told you we look after ourselves. Sullivan's office. Sullivan, yes, Sullivan. It's a difficult man. Most time I'm more than happy to see him stay with his beloved Galactic Eight Fleet. Tenant Finina. Oh, he's higher, polished, highly polished flagship. Sullivan, he's well respected throughout the service. Old star killer has earned the respect for a lifetime devotion to his duty and his men. Fenelain, well book officer. The old school, Sullivan. Exactly. If him as arbiter, a guilty verdict would not be questioned. The matter would be settled. Fenier. But assuming the, that there is the verdict, communicator, signal tone. Sullivan. Intercommunicator. Yes. Voice. The tribune is assembling. The king commander. Arbitrator is present. Sullivan. Very well. Defina. The evidence is straightforward. I can see no reason why we shouldn't get the verdict we want the way that we want it. Fina, no, neither can I, Supreme Commander. Sullivan, and I expect no trouble from defence. Fina, nods, shakes head, none. Corridor, outside hearing room. Two Federation guards, Travis at the door. Guard, prisoner and escort reporting as ordered. Doors open. Quick march, they march inside. Hearing room, for Travis. I report for judgment, sir. Cinema and identify yourself. Travis. Travis, Space Commander. Alpha 15105. Cinema, so recognize. You may stand at ease. Travis does so. You set the authority of the arbitrator, a balance of judgment program, the compliance of the defense, the compl- compliance, complement, competence of the defending officer. <coughs> Travis, I do. Pause, I do. Cinema. Says failure to indictment. 
computer, Space Commander Travis, the charge under Section 3 of the War Crimes Statute Code of Genevin 1, the murder of 1,417 unarmed un- civilians on the planet Skaraska, date code beta 2001. Cinema, how do you char- answer the charge, Travis? I'm not guilty. Cinema, be seated, Major Fenua. Fenaday. Does the defence have an opening declaration? Fenua, we reserve our opening declaration, sir. Cinema, very well. Enter prosecution data. Clark presses some buttons. Computer, prosecution data begins. Identities and death certifications of all victims are entered. Finney, objection. Cinema, hold. Computer holding. Finney, defence requests the names of alleged victims cause death in each case to be specified. Cinema, all of them. Finney, if it pleases the arbitrator. Cinema, do you realise how long that will take, Major? Finney, a man's life is at stake, sir. Tell him I know what is at stake. Fina, my apologies, sir. I meant no disrespect. Cinema, since you have at your disposal instantly called all prosecution data, but I see what purpose would be served by having the computer return a couple of 1,000 corpses. Fina, I have may wish to challenge elements to the catalogue for the entered in judgment program, sir. So then confers with fellow arbitrators. Doing the polls back for call, Matina talk privately. McCall playing for time. Routine and playing for Sullivan. Computer will find Travis guilty. There's no doubt of that. But there are three but those three are responsible for the sentence. McCall so Routine are oh, so are oh, of hearing all the blood spattered details. McCall they they vote the maximum penalty. Cinema motion sustained. Victims' names and causes of death will be specified. McCall still privately to routine. You think that Travis knows what he's doing to him? Between the psychotic like Travis, who can tell what he's thinking? Flight deck of the liberator. Flight, then give me stationary, stationary orbit, telephone range somewhere in the temperate zone. Then confirm, do you require detailed sensor readings? Flight, no. I ask for temp- temporal conditions. I assume that is what you've given me. Then confirmed, they are gravitational anomalies which may affect movement, Blake and inhabited. Then the, na- the navigation computers list as such, even this in an entryway. Blake, that's good enough. Avon, really? Sounds like a little casual to me. Blake, I'm going down on my own, Avon. It has nothing to do with you. Avon, nothing at all. It occurs to me, if you should run into trouble, one of your followers, one of your three remaining followers, may have to, might have to risk his neck to rescue you. Blake, then you might advise them against that, Avon. Avon, oh, I will. Blake, that they might even listen to you this time. Avon, why not? After all, I didn't get them killed. Blake rests a hand on Avon's shoulder. True. The stationary orbit established. Status is firm. All systems functioning normally. Blake, all right, Zen. You know what to do. Zen confirmed Blake exits as Jenna en- enters from a different passage. Jenna Blake? Blake continues to act. Out without reacting. It's getting worse for him, isn't it? Avon sits himself before a ball, game board. Guilt does that. Janet, what would you know about guilt? Avon smiles. Only what I read. Read your move, I think. Teleport room. Oric is there on the stand. Blake, everything set, Kelly? Kelly, you've forgotten your gun. Blake, what? I don't need it. There's no one down there. Kelly, well, it may be some kind of life form. Blake, it doesn't matter. Flight deck, Kelly? V.O. I will get you a gun, Blake. V.O. All right, thank you. Teleport room. Blake inserts Gorick's key. Oric. Flight deck. And Kelly enters. Villa meets her and hands over gun. Blake, oh, V.O. All right, give it five seconds, then operate the teleport. Kelly hurries out. Teleport room. Blake is gone. When Kelly enters, she goes to check controls. Surface planet. Vegetation all around. Many sounds like animal bird calls. Blake appears. He moves a homing beacon hand locator from his case and checks their operation. He takes off the bracelet and puts it in the case. He exits leaving the beacon near a bush. Something picks up the beacon using a hook stick. Flight deck, Kelly enters. Avon, what was all that about? Kelly, I think I altered the transport coordination coordinates. Avon, you think? Kelly, well, there's no way of telling. He zeroed the controls. 
General Elbert shifting. Better shifting? What do you mean shifting? Are we in trouble again? Jenna Zen. Zen. New Elbert would be established in six minutes. Instructed. Jenna? Instructed by whom? Avon Blake. Make sure we can't find him. He was co- he, he could be running out of, on us. Surface of Planet Blake walks along. Hearing room. Cinema. Hearing. We reconvene on O900. Return a prisoner to detention. Guard the prisoner. About turn. Quick march. Travis and his two guards exit. The arbiters. A court personal exit. Personnel exit. Retina. One almost was a that woman. Bukul. What? Fina? Retina. Salaman. Bukul. Oh. Retina. We know what, that she sent Travis to death in order to keep his mouth shut. But she's doing it with such an impeccable hot ice and painstaking trivial tribunal that her real motives can't be hinted at. But because what has uh, a date been set for Blake's inquiry? Blake's inquiry? Routine, does it matter about Travis' evidence of mishandling Blake affair? Because a matter of conjecture, inquiry because of formality. But call now present the eventual stay of execution so that Travis can give evidence. Of this he should be more than willing. Routine, after this he'll be convicted. Mass murderer. But call it should it could still damage the Sullivan. Slime sticks, as the old saying has it. Routine, yes, but the president can't be seen to throw it. But call Sullivan picked Travis. Routine, the president picked Sullivan. But call so she's outmaneuvered us once again. Routine, let's just say, let's say she's outmaneuvering us, but it's not over yet. She could still make a mistake. But call, which is was presumably why we came. I was beginning to wonder. Routine, we, we came, Bacall, because Sullivan's ambitious. Ambitions threatened us all. President particularly dislikes being threatened. Shall we dine? Bacall, I wish I knew, known that this is going to drag on so. I brought my chef, a call. Base command of cuisine is appalling. Sullivan's office. Sullivan watching proceeding closed circuit. Pathetic in the communicator. Send her in. Fina enters Fina. How was the first day? Fina more or less suspected. Sullivan, so? Fina Travis is all behaving oddly. Sullivan, three years ago, committed a capital crime. Justice finally caught up with him. How would you expect him to behave? Fina, I wouldn't expect him to sit staring straight ahead, not moving, not reacting. Sullivan, not even listening? Fina, that's it. Exactly how he was, Supreme Commander. Has anyone else remarked on it? Sullivan, oh, uh, God, Commander. Report mentioned something. Fina, it's almost as though he was drugged. Sullivan, oh, no, of course not. Risk of commercial mistrial? Fina, then what? Sullivan, you're representing him. You'd better find out. Don't want any doubts about the conduct of his dist- tribunal. Any doubts of all? Fina rises and ex- starts to exit. Fina, try not to let Travis guess your motives. He's probably mad, but he certainly isn't a fool. Fight by deck. Kelly, he's only, if he was going to desert us, surely he'd chosen somewhere special. Villa, right, paradise, that is not. Avon, perhaps Blake knows something we don't. Villa, there isn't even any people down there. Avon, so, at least one expect parasites. Kelly, why are you, would you maroon yourself on a planet? Avon, we don't know about that he's a maroon. He could be having a ship waiting. General, oh, come on, Avon. You don't really believe that. Villa, I wish Gan was here. Avon, oh, yes, of course. He'll be able to work out exactly what's going on. Villa, maybe he would. Kelly, why would you say that, Villa? Villa, he was straightforward, always expecting us to be cheated and double-crossed. Not at you. He trusted people. He trusted Blake completely. General, how much good it did him. Avon, welcome back to reality, General. Villa, you think he's double-crossing us, Jenna? Jenna, I don't know, but you're right about one thing. I'm not like Gan. I don't trust, unless I don't trust his return. Avon, what do you think we should do, then? Jenna, let's suggest something. Avon, well, now, I find the idea of being wealthy rather appealing. Villa, leave? Avon, I don't see much prospect of getting rich around here. Villa, well, it certainly looks as though Blake left us, doesn't it? Avon, there's only reasonable assumptions we can make. Villa, so we've got to look out for ourselves now. Avon, exactly. Villa, Blake well, can't complain, really, Jenna, hardly, since he's not here. Villa, no, I mean, it's not as though we don't have our share of freedom and all that. Avon smiled more than our share. Jenna, you two make me sick. 
Are we going to out of here, or aren't we? Kelly, Oric, do you know what Blake is doing? Oric, of course I do. Kelly, then tell us. Oric, without the correct data recall code, information is not available. Kelly, data recall code? Avon? Jenny's put a, even put a secure, secret classification code. What he's doing? Kelly, yes. But why did he code it? And how? Villa, if Gan was here, what would he have asked Oric? Villa, something obvious. Did Blake leave us any message? Main main screw screw displays have called a message from Blake. Blake, thank you. I must confess I wasn't sure if they trust me. You were care enough to ask. If there was a message if your if your place I probably just said I oh, don't give a damn cleared off. I think well, that's just it. I need time to think. We all do. That's what it's all about. I must apologise for the somewhat drastic drastic exit. I had to stop myself coming back. At least until I had made some decisions. You and I took one head of risk with our lives when I went ahead with tech and central control. I thought it was justified. I thought I, we had a chance to win. I was wrong, completely, utterly, stupidly wrong. I even noticed that. Blake, I almost killed you all. I did kill Kang for, for nothing. An empty ruin, a trick, a illusion. I find myself wondering that it's all, it's all been all along. Just dream. Don't know anymore. Don't know whether we should go on, whether, whether you would even su- even supposing I could ask you to. So, this is what we've got to decide. You and I, where we go from here. Even so, that's what we have to decide, is it? Blake, I'm taking it in, uh, home into bacon down with me. I start transmitting 13 hours. Detectors should be able to locate it and guide the ship to revenues. It's an automatic beacon. I should leave it on the ground when I l- land and make my way back to it with a hand detector. It seems very more fitting somehow. Besides, if us chooses not to keep revenues, then we don't think too badly of each other. Maybe the detector's failed. Message ends. Villa, he really cares about us, doesn't he? Evans, you swallowed it? Uh, Kelly, you think he was faking it? Oh, he actually, but everything but self pity. That was real enough. Okay, well, you're wrong. Aaron and Jenna do the exits. Which only leaves one question to be answered. Is that Blake was a genius for leadership? Or Billy, the other genius for being led? Blake drops his case to the ground. Sits to fall on, on a fallen log to rest. A few seconds he's lit, lit lightly by a small stone. He's set then by a second. Though later, a few seconds later, he's sprayed with water. When he raises and starts to look around, and hit with a stream of water, he arms himself with a stick. Looks around, his case is hooked away with a stick. Zill shows himself to Blake, holding his case, dangling from the stick. Blake, hey, Travis is in centre. Cell, the door opens, Travis, whose is it? Pa, do you remember me, sir? Travis, Pa, enters. What are you doing here, Trooper? Pa, I'm off duty, sir. Travis, well, I'm not. Glance at the security area, Cam. I gather you tired of your freedom. Pa, I'm twenty year old man, sir. I won't recognise the freedom if it fell over it. It's a temporary fault of surveillance. God's a friend of mine. Travis, stand to attention when you talk to me. Pa, stand to attention, sir. Travis, I'm putting you and your friend on report. Pa, are you trying to help, sir? There is help. How do you think you can help me, trooper? Pa, brought you something, sir. Starts to extract something from the pocket. Travis grabs a Pa's hand and slowly as you proceed, it's a small flask opening part, opens it. Travis takes it and bring, brings it to his nearest here nose. Pa, that's good good stuff, sir. You won't go blind blind drunk blind drinking that. Travis, all right, Pa. What have I done to deserve this? Sir, Pa, sir? Travis, faithful trooper, beloved officer. Not quite how I seem either either of us. Pa, you always looked after your men, sir. Now you gonna die? We thought a drink was the last least we could do, sir. Travis, stand at ease. Pa does. Have one with me. Pa, thank you, sir. Travis pours him a drink. Pa drowns it one gulp. What is that? that is good stuff. Travis watches Pa for about five seconds. You can go now, Pa. Pa, huh? Oh, sir? Travis, sir, Pa. Pa, the port, sir. Travis, no one would believe it. Paris exit. Pa exits. Any more than I do. Drinks in the flask. Corridor for Ina is waiting for Pa. Fina, did you give it to him? Pa, yes, Major. Fina, appreciate it. Pa, respect, Major. I didn't do it, do it for you. 
Vina, you served a full tour with Space Command Travis, didn't you? Pa, five years, he was hard. Trevor, Vina, but fair. Pa, no, but often anyway. You could always rely on him not to get you killed unnecessarily. He never wasted troopers. Fina, ah, that's something, I suppose. Pa, Major, when you're up to your neck in slime and lasers, that's everything. Fina, all right, Pa. Pa, Major starts to walk away. Fina, pa, Trooper Pa, do you think he's guilty? Pa, no doubt about it, Major. He gave the order. We did the shout to do. A panic break is drinking for pool water. He hears noises from Zeal and chases after her. Travis, attention cell. Travis is lying on the cot. A nearly empty sitting... Sitting on the floor beside his dangling arm, the door over to Vilfina. Travis, come in, Fina, I was back to you. Fina, I thought you were asleep. Travis, what it what it is it you want to ask me? Fina, is there anything you need? Travis tosses a flask out. Your lack of subtlety, Major. Fina, what is the to Travis? Travis, get out. Fina, look. Travis, get out. A panic blank trips and falls a lie where he's poked by stick. He tries to catch Zeal, but nobody is in his reach. He turns, Zeal is standing in his sight. Bait, what do you are you? Zeal, untouched with bird like noises. Well, Bait, well, if that's your way of communicating, you can't see making much of a conversation. Zeal, at first, very stuttering, hesitant. Calamity improves as the dialogue continues. Why did you stop? Why did you stop? Bait, well, why did you run? Zeal, moment in life. Your stop is to lose yourself and to be zulled. Is that what you're really ready to be zulled? Oneness already a burden? Break no, I don't understand what you mean, Zeal. You're newly attacked, hatched, ill. Saw so you come, oneness. But your movement was slow, Zeal. Like wish oneness to waken you. Blake, what are you? Zeal, my, my oneness is Zeal. What is yours? Blake, well, I'm called Blake. Zeal, come, Blake. Keep distant. Zeal and Blake must be alone to live. Exit, Blake. No, wait, Zeal. Ground rumbles and shakes, Zeal. OOS, the host stirs. Flight deck, Avon is working on the death device. Jenna enters and goes to the controls. Avon, where you program an automatic search pattern for the homing beacon. Jenna, you didn't mind if I check it? Avon smiles. I would be disappointed if you didn't. Better enters. Jenna, what are you doing? Avon, the detector shield. Been working out on it for some time. Better? Everyone should have a hobby. What do, is it? What does it do? Avon, it should tell us. Keep us off everything. The Federation close range visual scanners. What do you mean? Their long range scanners won't pick us up at all? That's brilliant. Avon, absolutely brilliant. Never work. Avon, they already, there's only one way to find out. Sure. Blake will find us something suitable to attack. Bello, I see you decided to be led like the rest of us. Avon, I shall continue to follow. It's not quite the same thing. Bello, I don't see a difference. Avon, I don't really think you, that you would. Jenna, do you want to tell me why you left most of the southern hemisphere of the search pattern? Avon, I don't believe that Blake could think and swim at the same time. Like it's nothing but ocean down there. On the planet, Blake, Zeal, where are you? Zeal, have you stopped again? Is Blake afraid to be alone? Or must stay alone or wake the host? Blake, you took something from me, something I need. Now, Zeal, what have you done with it? Zeal, Blake... Will be lost to you unless Zeal can explain. But how? How to explain what Blake is? Blake, well, tell me what Zeal is. Zeal, one, Zeal is one, my oneness alone. Zeal is my awakening, as Blake is your awakening. Blake, you mean we live? Zeal, everything lives. The host lives. To live is not enough for Blake and Zeal. Blake and Zeal woke. Awaking must be feared, or you will lose it. A Blake will be absorbed. Blake, to live is not enough. Zeal to be alone must not be afraid. A host is slow to recognise one who is alone. Though you are, there are many, all will stay alone. Here's a patch of ground. Do you hunger? Tears the ground open. Scoops up some of the lining and opening and eats it. Do you hunger? Blake, what is it? Zeal, life. Blake tastes some. Ground shakes again. Still, the host stirs again now, Blake. I understand the need for swiftness. Flight date, Avon and Jenna are playing a ball game. Zen, 
Information detectors indicate rapid changes now occurring on the planetary surface. Further changes? Aim specify. Ten indications on land masses sinking. Projection the rate at which the focus is accelerating against it. Be totally submerged beneath the oceans in two hours. Jenna, it's impossible. Able to check the data. Jenna confirmed. Jenna, the climatic and gravitational changes will be catastrophic. Villa, well, perhaps they are. Kali, the planet will be tearing itself to pieces. Villa, are you sure it isn't? Shouldn't we move away? Aaron, how long before the homing beacon activates? Jenna, one hour, 15 minutes. Then data confirmed. Analysis is continues. Aaron, insert the OX key. Auric, have you got anything on this? Auric, the phenomenon is unknown to me. I shall require analysis. Chemical composition of the oceans. Aaron, then, then full range chemical analysis has been, or carried out, been carried out. Jenna, what about Blake? Avon, let's hope he's on high ground. A planet Zeal, indicating the Blake and container. Here, the host is not resolved then. Blake, what is the host? Said, we use it, everything. And yet you, you fear it. So, resist it. One must, must resist the host. Blake, but you don't know what it exists. So that's on his base that perhaps you have imagined it. Tuggles, how do you resist illusion? Zeal, eat lightly, move quickly. The host is not aware of your oneness. Blake, yes, I don't suppose you know how to speed up the timer when the host sees that Zeal is out of earshot. Home in big year. She is up and starts. Ultra, Zeal has collapsed. Zeal, what's wrong? Zeal is lost. The ground opens near her. Blake scoops her up and walks off with her. Host will take. Flight deck. Aurora Villa. Survivor? 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 You mean that's an ocean of spit? Saliva? You mean it's an ocean of spit? Right, no, no, of course not. A million anthology I was drawing. Oh, even you write. It's a just fury fluid. What does it mean? All right, oh, surely it's obvious. The planet's alive. Avon, define alive. All planets are, are by some definition. All right, I'm not referring to the complex ecosystem. I refer to a single organism. Planetary life form. Fascinating, don't you think? But I don't doubt if Blake does. Can he? It's... If it's a single organism, how does it function? Right, it will require study. At present, it would only be, I can only conjecture. Even so, conjecture. Right, to maintain life on that scale, the organism must achieve status, activate status, perfect within itself. Can you something that has upset the balance? Jenna Blake. Right, no, the stimulus must be, insinif- would be insignificant. Then, so what then? All right, my conjecture would be parasites, living form, living in an organism. The population will reach too high a level. General, well, what's that organism doing, all right? All right, cleansing itself. Villa killing them. All right, correct. And replacing the energy, thus extended, bended by eating them. General, there's still 40 minutes, five minutes, for the home into vegan activates. Aaron Blake hasn't got that long. Our planet Blake is carrying Zeal. He sets her down. Zeal, Blake must leave Zeal. Blake, no, what's happened to the light? Zeal, the waking time is over. Host is us all. Blake, not yet, it doesn't. Transport room. Jenna, VO, Avon, the flight program is laid in. Avon, close to the atmosphere. Jenna, VO, as close as we dare. Avon, all right, stand by to Kelly. This works to teleport. She'll break in a series of brief automatic pulses, each pulse covering a section of the area. Flying across. Can if Blake is there, it'll bring him up. It will start to bring him up. It will, it will be up to you to hit the main switch, complete the process. You have to concentrate. It appears to be one short flash. Can you miss it? Everyone smiles. He's gone for good. A planet? But Blake is carrying Zeal. Zeal, this place is fitting. Blake sets her down. Zeal, what? Zeal, the one that will return when the host is quiet again. Blake. She's nearby pole, white spectacle, spectacle objects. They're eggs. Children your people. Zeal, their skin is strong. They cannot be dissolved. Blake, the tentacle material materializes. The field glows white. You thought I was hatching from an egg. You've been protecting a child. Zeal, this place is fitting. Here, Blake, and Zeal will surrender oneness. Blake, Zeal, Zeal. She falls in a gap, opens near her. 
It closes back up. Not me. I'm not ready to surrender anything. Turn the book room. A1. You right, Jenna? Let's get on with it. Jenna. Oh, Cavio. Flight program running. Play it louder rumbles. The ground shaking. Blake covers his ears of pain. Transport room. Jen. Program. Flight program will complete in two minutes. Villa enters. The flight's almost over. Is it working? Even quiet, Villa. A few more se- seconds pause and Blake starts to appear. Now Blake starts to fade out. Clay works controls and Blake comp- appears completely. Blake, thank you. Next time I, think, I want to think I'll be in my cabin. Even if I should think I would, I should stick to action, Blake. That's what you're good at. Kelly, intercommunicator. Jenna, you've got him back. Villa to Blake. I even adapted teleport. With his usual skill. Probably ruined it. Exits. Blake, you want to lot, went to a lot of trouble because he looks at him and his exits. Even one of these days, they're going to leave you. They're almost ready to do so this time. Blake, yes, I thought they may, they might be. Even you handle him very skillfully. Blake, don't I? Even, but one more death will do it. Blake, then you'd better be very careful. It would be ironic if it was yours. Even exits. Hearing room. Computer prosecution data now. Enters complete judgment program. Jenkins one oblique free holding. Cinema Major Fina, is your defence data prepared and ready to be entered? Fina, it please the arbitrator. We like it's time to offer one, our opening decoration. Cinema very well. Fina very thank you, sir. Approaches the arbitrator, gentlemen. It is a very real sense of waste, perhaps even of a tragedy. Travis bolts to his feet. No, cinema has risen. Some objection. Next line by Travis Fina deliberate deliberate delivered simultaneous overlapping obscuring each other. Fina requests a tr- consultation untangible. With Orbiter's permission I must assist. Travis flight warning Zima. I do not wish to consult with my defence. Zima cutting them both off. That's enough. I will not have this tribunal to reduce to level common troopers brawl to Travis. You have already made formal acceptance of complete compliance to defending officer. Travis, yes, sir. Seema, defence may consult. Fina, thank you, sir. See and Travis move aside. What do you think you're doing, Travis? Fina. Travis, you've handled them that badly, Fina. So can you mind or not, please? please. We call private routine. Signs of life routine. Private of call. Death rose. Nothing more. Fina, all right. What is it you want? Travis, the opening decoration. Fina, you know. You want to know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say that you were a brilliant, dedicated soldier. A lapse of judgment, a motoring uh, ab- aberration. Travis, only a momentary aberration? Tra- Trina, I'm further, I'm further going to say you deep regret what happened. In other words, I'm going to lay the basis of your defence. Travis, I'll make my, I will make the opening decoration. Fina, look. Don't be a fool. Do you really think they're going to press them? Simply, Travis, I think the Supreme Commander wants me to go to death quietly, as co- close to quietly as I'm going to get. Travis, Fina, I'm, go- I'm go- trying to save your life, Travis. Travis, you better walk by trying to save your own, Fina. Majors can die quite anonymously. Your vomit in this fiasco makes your life expectancy only slightly longer than my own. Flight deck. Blake, we're getting a reputation of being vulnerable. Kelly, we're even beginning to believe it ourselves, even some of us anyway. Blake, all right, yes, I admit it. Gandalf woke me, made me realise I came to accept our own legend. But far more important than that, every Federation trooper, but very, every kill happy bounty hunter, who knows that we are fallible. Villa, we're saying, you're saying it's time to stop, as what you're saying, I hope. Jenna, no, I'm saying it's too late to stop, aren't you? We've come too far, Blake. No, what I'm saying is that we'd be, we'd be better, be better time. Even when we've stored our legend, Blake, ah, even all right. What death defined feat must we undertake in order to do that? Even when we detect a shield worked, even yes. Blake, a high speed attack of single strike run. Be on them before they know it, away before they can respond. Avon, where? Sullivan's headquarters. Hearing rooms, Trevor, Sinmore. You now begin 
Trevor paces about madly for a speech. A field officer like myself is frequently required to make fast, unconsidered decisions. Well, you are all field officers, you know, that's true. Time to think of luxury battle seldom affords you. Your actions instinctively. Your actions, your decisions, all instinct. Nothing more but office instincts are a product of his training. They're more thorough the training by a predictable instinct. Better the officer. I am a good officer. I've been in service all my adult life. to dedicate my duty and Charlie trained to her in how to perform it. In Sikitia, I reacted as I was trained to react. As an instrument of service. So if you're guilty of murder, I must murder it. And you all, so all of you. So man in the prison would be seated. Trevor turned his chair. Defence, data, prepared. Feeling it is, sir. Firm, sir, so enter it. Computer, judgment, program. Jenkins one and Blake three running. Defence, data, commences flight deck. Blake speed, Jenna standing by eight. Blake eight, flight time to target. Send six hours and four minutes. At present speed, Blake increased speed to stand by ten. Jenna standing by ten. Blake approaches Ava. Can we rely on it? Ava thought we were. Ava, Villa, detector, contact. Stream range, grid five. Kelly, six ship, standard federation patrol pattern. Villa, doing one, four, one, nine, four. Blake, have they picked us up yet? Kelly, maintaining patrol pattern. Villa, holding one, four, nine, four. Blake, put them on the screen, then. View of all six crossing the screen. Villa, they missed us. Avon's gadget works. Blake, I never doubt it for a moment. They were in something wrong. Avon, it occurred to me. There's a description of highly sophisticated technical treatment. Avon's gadget works. Seems to lack a certain style. Hearing room. Cinema, the ju- prisoner would stand. Trevor rises. Judgment, judgment. Computer, judgment program one. Oblique three. Conclusion, space command, Travis. You go to his charged. Cinema, the tribunal required to consider a sentence. Sullivan's office. Sullivan, no surprise in defence. Fina, how did you know? Sullivan, how did you not know? Fina, I thought that you'd given up. Sullivan, I warned you not to underestimate Travis. Fina, I don't think you persuaded him. <coughs> Sullivan, he's watching cinema. What Travis said bothered him. Fina, you were watching? Sullivan's last secret session not. Did you seriously imagine I wouldn't have a spy camera in there? Travis knew right from the beginning. It really is pity he got to die. It's so much better than anything I've got left. Flight deck. Flight. Time to the target. Then 14 minutes attack run will commence in 9 minutes 30 seconds. Blake, how long before would they see us? 9 minutes and 35 seconds. Hearing room, Senamore. Base commander. He considered your sentence at some length. Contention that what happened was a was direct result of your training concerned us greatly. We said that you were trained to kill, as we all are. What could we cannot accept that training leads inevitably to murder of innocents? Paver is not a Federation officer, but that of a savage and thinking animal. Flight deck. Can he target now rushing on all detectors? Even three minutes commitment of attack run. He room, cinema. We cannot find it in our hearts to resolve you. So you any way responsibility for those murders. Sentence this tribunal is, therefore you should be stripped of all rank and privileges. If you dishonorably dismiss the service, you will be executed as common credible. You have shown yourself to be. Have you anything to say, flight deck? Even five seconds attack, run threshold, Blake, commit. Kelly, we are now in individual range, attack, run, commence. Blake, stand by for main blasters, where the main blasters, ready, hearing room. So now do I take it? Nothing to say, Travis. Federation run by hypocrites and supported by fools. Glad to be rid of you all. Voice. All personnel to battle stations. All personnel battle stations. The underlying ship. Attack run in quadrant six. Flight deck. Blake, fire the main blasters. View them from space. Liberated fires a section of space station. Explodes. Hearing room. Travis attacks. Overwork comes his guards and takes one of their guns. Voice automatically airlock will trigger. In three seconds, Travis leaps through the, through the airlock. Door in and starts to close. He shoots another guard and passes through the main door. Finds himself confronting Pa, pointing a gun at him. Travis, don't make me kill you, Pa. Pa, what happened in there? 
Trust from outer world cracked. Ultimately, the lock sealed the chamber. If you're dead by now, drop the gun. Pa, I can't do that, sir. Pa, sir. Travis, don't be a fool. I've got nothing to lose anymore. Pa, I can't let you go, sir. Travis, not far out. So I said, I want hypocrites. Where are we, Pa? Flight deck. Blake, get us out of here. Jenna, speed, standard by 12. Villa, standard speed by 12. Battle computers, put full wall on standby. Set of men's office. Voice from communicator. Single run attack in quadrant six. Damage is extensive. Find a section as far. That section as far as we can tell. Sullivan, damage control dreams. Voice moving in now. Sullivan, what about casualties? Travis from doorway. High rising all the time. Voice, no instruments yet. Supreme commander. Sullivan, very well. Keep it forward. Switches off communicator. Travis, well, savage. Thinking animals have a way of surviving, don't they? Travis, who is it? Sullivan. We think it's Blake, Travis. Huh, I must remember to thank you before I kill him. Sullivan, what are you planning to do? Travis, I'm planning to leave. You're going to give me a pursuit ship and trigger that circuit. Oh, that trigger circuit for, for, for this. Raise his hands to fish your hand. Sullivan, ah, you think so? He moves in. You hurt. You hunt Blake. Travis, we will, you, while you hunt both of us, I give the orders carefully. Seven the communicator, pursuit four, ready for immediate launch. Voice yes, madam. Crew standing by. Seven, have the crew stand down. Want them to be replaced by three mutinoids. Voice mutinoids? Voice seven, yes, mutinoids. I have them blanked. I want their minds imprinted to receive orders. Only from the person who uses the trigger word outlaw to them. Voice yes, madam. Seven, switches off communicator. Well, you need a crew, a crew lie on. Travis, still one step ahead. Not going to use me anymore? Move. Flight deck. Cully. Last patrol is off the de- detectors. We've lost them all. Blake, resist the host. Your oneness will be resolved. Abram. Look, would quite like to have met this zeal of yours. Not often the one comes across a physical, psychological, philosophical flea. But uh, that's the stuff that Lemon legends are made of. Avon, then again, perhaps. They're not uncommon. Blake and Avon laugh.